In the heart of Utah lies a place so mysteriously beautiful, it seems as if it had been sculpted by otherworldly hands. Welcome to the enigmatic Bryce Canyon National Park. Nestled in the southwestern region of Utah, this park is a spectacle of geological wonderment, a testament to the artistry of nature. Bryce Canyon is renowned for its unique geology, primarily its spellbinding hoodoos. These tall thin spires of rock that protrude from the bottom of arid basins and broken lands give Bryce Canyon its distinct and otherworldly landscape. They stand like a silent army of stone, weathered by years of erosion, yet standing resilient against the sands of time. These hoodoos range in size, some as tall as a 10-story building, and each one is a masterpiece of nature's sculpture. And then there are the natural amphitheaters, the grand stages of stone and space that stretch across miles, carved into the eastern edge of the Ponsagunt Plateau. They are nature's grand auditoriums where the drama of geology has been played out over millions of years. The most famous of these is the Bryce Amphitheater, a vast depression in the earth filled with a maze of hoodoos and intricate rock formations. It's as if Mother Nature herself has been playing in a sandbox. This park is not just a geological marvel but a place steeped in mystery. The indigenous Paiute people believed hoodoos were legend people, who were turned to stone by Coyote, a powerful trickster. This folklore adds a layer of intrigue to the park, making it a place where natural history and cultural heritage intertwine. Bryce Canyon National Park is more than just a destination, it's an experience. It's a place where you can lose yourself in the labyrinth of its geological wonders, where every turn reveals a new spectacle, a new mystery to unravel. It's a place that invites you to step into the unknown, to explore and to discover. Stay tuned as we delve into the ancient origins of Bryce Canyon National Park. From its mysterious hoodoos to its grand amphitheaters let's embark on this journey together exploring the secrets etched into the stone of this remarkable place. Bryce Canyon's tale begins millions of years ago in a world much different from ours. Our journey back in time starts in the Cenozoic era when Mother Nature began her masterful work of art. Imagine a time when the North American continent was a hotbed of geological activity. The earth was restless shifting and changing, giving birth to the Ponsagunt Plateau. This plateau, the canvas of our story, was formed around 50 to 60 million years ago as a result of massive geological shifts. The land rose pushed up by forces that we can barely comprehend shaping the plateau that we now know as Bryce Canyon National Park. But the story doesn't end there. Oh no, for Mother Nature is a meticulous artist, and she had only just begun. The plateau was still raw, an uncut gem waiting to be polished. It was time for the second stage of this grand design. The creation of the hoodoos, those towering spires of rock that Bryce Canyon is so famous for. Now you might be wondering how did these hoodoos come to be? Well it's a tale of two elements, water and temperature. Over the course of millions of years the freezing winters and the baking summers worked in tandem to carve out the hoodoos. In the cold months water would seep into the cracks in the rocks freezing and expanding, causing the rocks to crack and fracture. Then, in the summer, the rushing streams would wear down these fractured rocks, smoothing and shaping them into the elegant spires we see today. This process, known as frost weathering and stream erosion, is a testament to the power of time and nature. Over millions of years these two forces have worked together, sculpting and shaping, to create the breathtaking spectacle that is Bryce Canyon. And so, the stage was set for a spectacle that would stun the world. From the formation of the Ponsagunt Plateau to the creation of the Hoodoos, the tale of Bryce Canyon is a testament to the power and beauty of Mother Nature's artistry. Long before it was known as Bryce Canyon, this land was home to Native American cultures. Enveloped in the mysteries of time, these ancient cultures, such as the Anasazi and the Paiute, lived in harmony with the land. They revered the natural formations, attributing spiritual significance to them, and their stories and legends echo through the ages. As the wheel of time turned, these Native American tribes were joined by new arrivals. In the mid-18th century, European settlers began to make their way west, drawn by the promise of new opportunities and the allure of the untamed wilderness. Here, in the shadow of the canyon's towering hoodoos, they established their homes, carving out a living from the rugged landscape. Among these settlers was a man named Ebenezer Bryce, a shipbuilder from Scotland. He and his family moved to the area in the late 19th century settling in the Pariah Valley. Bryce was a pragmatic man and to him the canyon was less about its breathtaking beauty and more about its practical challenges. 
Famously, he once commented that the canyon was a hell of a place to lose a cow. Despite his practical view of the canyon, it was Ebenezer Bryce's name that would forever be associated with it. In the early 20th century the canyon was designated as a national monument, and later, a national park, taking on the name Bryce Canyon. From its early days as a home to Native American tribes, through the arrival of European settlers, to its designation as a national park, the human history of Bryce Canyon is as layered and complex as the rock formations that define it. Each era has left its mark, contributing to the rich tapestry of stories that make up the history of this incredible place. Little did Ebenezer Bryce know that his backyard would become one of the world's most phenomenal tourist attractions. Today Bryce Canyon National Park stands as a testament to nature's grandeur and the relentless march of time. A haven for nature enthusiasts, this place is a living proof of how the earth has evolved, with layers of sedimentary rock etched by eons of weather and erosion. The park is a vibrant tapestry of life, a diverse ecosystem teeming with flora and fauna. From the ponderosa pines reaching skywards to the tiny chipmunks scurrying across the forest floor, every creature has a role to play in this intricate web of life. Birds of prey soar overhead, their sharp eyes scanning the terrain for their next meal, while mule deer graze peacefully in the meadows, their large ears alert to the slightest sound. Yet it's the unique geological formations that truly set Bryce Canyon apart. One such marvel is the sunrise point. As dawn breaks, the first rays of light illuminate the canyon, painting a breathtaking tableau of fiery oranges, rich purples and deep reds. It's a sight to behold, a moment where time seems to stand still. For those seeking a more intimate encounter with the canyon, there's the Fairyland Loop. This eight-mile trail winds its way through the heart of the park, taking you up close with the iconic hoodoos, those peculiar rock pillars that seem to defy gravity. And as day turns into night, Bryce Canyon reveals yet another of its treasures. Known for its dark skies, the park hosts an annual astronomy festival, offering visitors a chance to gaze upon the cosmos through powerful telescopes. It's a celestial spectacle, a chance to marvel at the vastness of the universe and our tiny place within it. Bryce Canyon National Park, with its stunning scenery and bountiful wildlife, offers a unique experience to its visitors. Whether it's the thrill of hiking through rugged terrain, the serenity of watching a sunrise or the awe of stargazing, there's something for everyone but remember in Bryce Canyon it's not just about what you see, it's also about what you do. For those who dare to step into this geological wonder, there's more than just sightseeing. Bryce Canyon National Park is a playground for explorers, nature lovers, and adventurous spirits. And while the view alone is worth the trip, the real magic happens when you immerse yourself in the experiences that the park offers. Hiking is a must with over 50 miles of trails that wind through the park's unique landscape. The Navajo Loop, a popular choice, takes you down into the canyon, offering a close-up view of the park's iconic hoodoos. As you descend, you'll find yourself surrounded by a forest of stone, where towering spires and intricate formations paint a picture of the Earth's history. If you prefer a slower pace, horseback riding is another great way to explore the park. Guided tours are available, allowing you to traverse the same paths that the early settlers once did. As you meander through the park on horseback, you'll experience the canyon from a completely different perspective. As the sun sets, the park transforms. As one of the last sanctuaries of natural darkness, Bryce Canyon offers some of the best stargazing opportunities in the world. On a clear night, you can see thousands of stars, the Milky Way, and even distant galaxies. It's a humbling experience that reminds us of our place in the universe. The best time to visit? Well, that depends on what you're looking for. Each season brings its own charm. The summer offers warm days and cool nights perfect for camping. Fall brings vibrant colors as the foliage changes. Winter showcases the park's beauty under a blanket of snow, while spring brings a burst of new life. Essential tips? Stay on marked trails, respect the wildlife, and pack plenty of water and sunscreen. Remember, you're a guest in this ancient landscape. And remember, wherever you go in Bryce Canyon National Park, always keep an eye out for the elusive rock gnome, the park's unofficial mascot. They're known to be quite shy, but who knows, you might just get lucky.